Okay. Hey. The bad news, it you know, it was kind of in a compromised part of the plate that kind of throws out all our test data. But this is the 40 Smith & Wesson that was still in the plate for some reason. And this is the Brass Magic Mushroom Slug that we pulled out of the box of dirt. A little dent on it, probably from hitting that bullet. But I think it's in good enough shape that we can load it up and shoot it again. Let's try that. See how that performs. This time we'll be shooting at these massive blocks of wood. Well, they're kind of big. Now, Tim, the guy that made these, posted a video about a month or so ago, and he called these the most powerful slugs he ever made. And they definitely are some monster slugs. I'll put a link to his video at the end of this video because you'll never remember to do it right now. Because this video is pretty cool, you need to watch it. And once again, we found that slug. It's been shot twice already. Uh, almost no new damage to it. Maybe a couple scratches if that. That's the block of wood it went through. Pretty good. Next up, let's shoot it at some Kevlar body armor. This is level 3A. This is the le legit stuff. It's the stuff that police often use. They use a couple different brands, I believe but this stuff has saved thousands of lives. Let's see how our slug performs against this. Wow. <laughs> now you see it, now you don't. It takes a lot of force to wad a Kevlar body panel like that into a ball. A lot of force. Now watch here, you can see the slug, it's starting to maybe yaw a little bit. We didn't really see that on our first shot, but hopefully that's just a fluke. Now, it was stuck in that body armor, and this is the slug afterwards. It's in perfect condition. That one could be shot again. The shirt, unfortunately, is ruined, but I don't know. I think he'd still die just from blunt trauma. And finally, because no test is complete without ballistic gel, even though it doesn't really prove much, but we got six uh, ballistic gel gummy bears lined up. Let's see what it does. Do -do 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 -do. I wrecked those things. Yeah, I did. And there is the ballistic gel test. See, a, a very hard slug like that, it doesn't really deform. We'll just go through lots and lots of ballistic gel just like that. And started in a downward trajectory. That, that's the thickest spot, the tummy right there. Yeah. Started downward here. Drop him. 
That might just been the, the angle we were shooting at too. It, it hit hit our wood. Crack that board. Yeah, that's into the barrel. That's probably in perfect condition. Six layers of goo. Yeah. I'm always impressed with the slugs that Tim makes because they're almost indestructible. As long as you don't hit a something very hard with them, they can be shot over and over again. It's it's bizarre. Lead slugs just don't do that. Okay. You ready? Yep. Because everyone asks what that weird sound is, that's what's causing it right there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Are you still there? Oh, okay, good. You idiot, Jeff. Uh, I just want to remind you to check out Tim's video on his own testing that he did on these slugs uh, about two months ago. Very entertaining. Well worth the watch. Thanks again for watching.